So I'm recording this video the day after I recorded the showcase video for Sahara Now Light. My voice is still dying. This could be interesting. Last week I showed you Sahara Now Light. Today we're going to be building it. Hey everyone, my name's Happy, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. This is Sahara Now Light. If you missed the last video, go back and watch that now. It's linked down below and at the end of this video as the last video. If you've seen that video already, then let's begin. If you forgot what Sahara Now Light is, it's my version of the Sahara Now system from Hermitcraft Season 6 if it was a free service that didn't require a membership. So without further ado, let's get on to building this with step number one. Download for this world is in the description. Step one, make sure you're using Minecraft Java Edition 1.14.4 or higher. For step number two, you want to start by placing cyan terracotta in a three by four area just like this, then knock out a three by one hole in the middle, and then place a yellow concrete here and a yellow concrete there. Then what you want to do is you want to get your light gray concrete and you want to build two out like this. Nope, sorry, this tower we're building now, bring it one block forward that way. I'll show you what I mean at the end of the video by building it in person. So for a 2x2 two two area and just build up to one higher than this area here. Then you want to bring this out by two blocks over here, get your white concrete and build up, around and around like that and that should go to there, build this one higher and that's the entrance or the main front area of the build. Now you need to add the payment area, so to do that come around here, a bush, a bush and a barrel. Doesn't matter how you place the barrel, just for simplicity I'm going to place it like that. You can place the barrel however you like. We're now going to get onto the final section of building this thing. All you need to do is fill in the blanks with your uh, blue concrete. This is actually cyan concrete. Uh, so you can use whatever colour concrete you like for this back wall, it doesn't have to be blue or cyan, but you just want to build it along the back so it covers all of this, and then if you want to you can place some glowstone or sea lanterns up in that corner there. And that is the main facade of the building done, the main frontage. If you want to, you can add your buttons and comparators there, but uh, we're not going to do that, we're going to get onto the redstone. So uh, I, need, I, need, I need to go revise the redstone quickly, and, and then we can get onto that, so just just just... Give me a sec. Okay, here we go for the redstone. But first of all, you want to come back around to the front and just place two yellow banners there just to get the Sahara logo. Okay, first thing we're going to do is place a button on the right side of this hole, go round the back of the hole and place your comparator here just like that. That's going to indicate the stock. Now what you need to do is you need to do the following. You need to get a redstone lamp, place that here like so and then we need a couple of observer outputs. Now the observer outputs need to go here and here and what that will do is take the signal up and down so inside of this block out after this one we're going to have a red block and then we're going to have a piston going there and then we're also going to have a piston coming down like that on top of this piston or underneath this piston we're going to have a slab and that's what's going to be pushing our piston down to break the shulker boxes Underneath this, you're going to want to have a repeat uh, a hopper facing into that block with a dropper like so facing up and then a dispenser facing out just like this into that block. And what that will do is cycle the blocks around and place your observer here. Now what you need to do is just place a black block and put that there and here, here and that will do for that just to cover the, um, the area. So around the front, it now should look like that. Going back around the back, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this out here. You're going to want to go one, two, three, and then another one, two, and then your redstone block. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a block. So one, and then two out like that. So you should have a bit of redstone there. Okay, and then what you need to do is bring this all the way across to there. And then on that, just have your repeaters and set them to full tick delay. Every single one of them on a full tick delay. So place them down, click on them four times, get them to their longest delay. Just to shorten all that down, my phone is buzzing at me. This is not good for a tutorial. With that out of the way, we can get onto the final section or near enough the final section. This is a really short build, surprisingly easy. Uh, all you need to do is dig down to give yourself enough space to place a sticky piece piston here on top of or to the side of this uh, redstone lamp here with the observer and on uh, underneath that place a redstone block just like that. 
Then what you need to do is you need to grab yourself a block, place it there with some redstone on top, uh, make yourself a little hole so you can get around here. And what you need to do is you need to have a little uh, redstone torch, which is the only thing we don't have. Get yourself a redstone torch, place that there. That will lock this hopper. And then what you need to do is you need to bring this around like that. And you need to have it going like this. You need to bring it down. Then what you need to do is you need to come up, around again, around again, around again. Then you can come back up. If you wanted to, you, you could just stay on one level, but you know. And with that, that is everything complete. Now, we have to do the money system as well. So dig out a few blocks here, and eventually you should see your barrel. Now, when it comes to the barrel, it's just as simple as placing a single hopper there. If you want a second hopper, then grabbing a chest, um, and then placing that down, and that's your money system. Just place that there. And now you have a way to collect stock. Why are chests so annoying in Minecraft 1.14? And then, yep, all of the money from the barrels up here will go into the system. Um, and I believe that's everything. Now you can put some signs on explaining how to use the system. And we are ready to load up some shulker boxes. So the way you load the system up, if you have forgot from last time, is you take a few shulker boxes, four at the minimum, just so you've always got a shulker box coming through, and you basically place them down anywhere you like. You load them up with whatever you like. You can rename them in an anvil as well, if you want to give them a name and a price. Um, so yeah, put anything you like in these. We'll go for random items for now, uh, just to get this done quick. So place any items you like, any sort of bundles, because remember, this is a bundle system unlike most shops like uh, Zahara for those of you who remember that uh, my remake of um, Zahara from Hermitcraft at Zahara we believe that customer value is at high importance therefore we sell up to 60 different unique items in our store our items are easily identified by four different categories each category has its own interface with the latest technology no chests no throwing items just lecterns so easy to use then you'll know that that's more of a system where you go in there and you select what you want. This is more of a bundle system where it's going to cycle things around. So what we can do for the first time use is we can throw things into here. Uh, but as you can see, the items won't go in. So actually what you've got to do is you've got to start cycling it around. Now, it should not go through. But the way you need to uh, restock it if you actually want it to be stocked is again to pop around the back. And the reason we need four is so we've got one in there. Uh, yeah, one in here, one in there, one in there, and one out the front. Now, one thing I haven't tested yet is coming around here and placing some uh, several boxes in there. Now, in theory, this should still work. So, let's give this a test. This is the first time we've tested this system, and as you can see, out comes the shulker box, and that time it was the birch sapling. And if we press this again, what we should see is we now get the iron ore, and if we press it again, we will get the... But sapling again, let's see what we get this time. The acacia sapling. So yeah, we get all four shulker boxes, and uh, the more shulker boxes you have in the system, the more randomised it will be. Obviously, if you have less shulker boxes, then it's going to cycle round in a in the same order every time, but the more shulker boxes you have, the more random it will be. And of course, the payment system, if you just chuck in a diamond into here or any item, then straight away it disappears, and it just hops into the chest straight down there. So I'm currently editing the video and I mentioned this tower, it needs to be brought forwards. If you didn't understand what that meant or wanted to see it visually, break this back wall here of the light tower. Then you need to get your light grey concrete and just bring that forwards one block. This adds depth to the build and it just makes it stand out more and if you want to also, you can add a please pay here box sign above the box. Thing. I'm losing my words. So everybody, that is how you make Sahara Now Light. If you did enjoy this video, let me know by leaving a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the bell as well so you never miss anything from me. What redstone project should I do next? Let me know in the comments down below. Should I remake something else from the Hermitcraft server? If so, what should that be? Thank you for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. If you need any more help, drop us a comment and I'll be able to help you down in the comments. I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.